Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Caught, presented by Catfish. This case is a little different from any of the stories we've covered. It's about a woman named Deborah Newell, who actually met her scammer through online dating and married him. I was worried that John was gonna kill me to try to get the money, because I had married him. He said I was a whore and a bitch, and I was gonna pay for what I did. He was the most evil person I've, I've ever met. 59-year-old Deborah was a wealthy interior designer from Southern California. She had been married four times and had bad luck with men. She decided to do some online dating and met a man named John. After several messages back and forth, Deborah Newell and John Meehan met for a candlelit dinner in October of 2014. She really liked this guy because he was handsome, charismatic, accomplished, and seemed genuinely interested in her. After four failed marriages, she felt that she had found the one. He was the man of her dream, she said. John made himself out to be a very successful man, claiming that he was a doctor and saved many lives while serving in Iraq. Deborah's daughters were against their mother's relationship with John as he appeared to be a gold digger and was rude to them. This raised their concerns about his intentions, especially when the couple got married just after two months of meeting. John and Deborah moved into the beautiful home in Balboa Island right off of the beach. She paid for everything for John and he didn't even own a car. And so he was driving one of my cars. But he told me his car, when he was in Iraq, his things got stolen. John's tale about serving in Iraq was of course a lie. Over the course of a year, John started showing his true colors after one of Deborah's daughters stumbled across a box of prescription drugs in his closet. I mean, almost everything he told me was a lie. Uh, he told me he was an anesthesiologist. He was not an anesthesiologist. He said he had one sister and she was dead. He has two alive sisters. Um, everything was, there was no reason for a lot of the, the lies. I didn't understand. Not only was John lying about being a doctor, but he was also a drug addict with an ugly temper. She later found out that he just got out of jail two days before they met and had a long history of conning, manipulation, and abusing women. She moved out and in April 2016, she ended the marriage. She also went into hiding, afraid that John would hurt her and her daughters. In June 2016, John stole Deborah's car and tried to burn it. He got into my car, started it, and set it on fire point I realized I'm his latest victim. Two months later, he attacked Deborah's youngest daughter, Tara, with a knife outside of her apartment building. Tara fought back and kicked the knife out of John's hand and stabbed him in his shoulder blade, tricep, under back, forearm, chest, and his left eye. Jesus. Although John was pronounced dead on the scene, emergency crews revived him. Four days later, the hospital John was admitted to eventually pulled the plug. Tara now suffers from PTSD and anxiety, and hopefully the family doesn't have to endure these tragic events ever again. What do you think that when people, you know, hear your story and think, mm -hmm. well, how did you let this happen? I tell them you weren't in my shoes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, but that's all we have for today. For more in-depth details on this case, please feel free to check out the blog linked in the description down below. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages. Hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught, presented by Catfish, goes live.